this is the story of our safe future. Diabetes or sweet urine is not a new disease. It existed from the traditional old time and it is as dangerous as heart attack and cancer if not controlled properly. At present, in India, more than 60 million people are already victims of diabetes. If the combat action is not taken immediately, this figure will reach 100 million by 2030. Indians are getting diabetes about 10 years earlier than normal average age. In comparison to other countries, Indians are more affected with diabetes. One of the main reasons is our genetic structure that makes we Indians more prone to diabetes and another reason is we blindly follow the Western culture. Earlier, we used to eat our traditional food but nowadays, we have changed our food pattern to ice cream, cheese, burgers, pizza, chocolate, soft drinks, etc. We are living an absentee life with mental stress and a chaotic lifestyle. Because of all these, diabetes is increasing successively in Indians. Today, it is not limited to cities but has intruded to people living in the villages as well. In our society, public lack knowledge and awareness regarding their health and diabetes. Diabetes is called silent killer. Diabetes can be said to be the leader of all diseases. Because of it, so many diseases come in our bodies silently after it. If it is not well controlled, like blood pressure, heart attack, kidney problems, problems regarding the retina and dental problems etc. Hence, patients should go for body checkup every year. 66% of patients with diabetes do not know that they have the disease and most among those who know that they are suffering from diabetes are ignorant, superstitious, have false beliefs and are careless in taking proper and scientific treatment. There are two types of diabetes. Type 1 diabetes usually occurs in children and young people. Generally, they have insulin deficiency in their body. So, they have to take external insulin as per the doctor's advice. Type 2 diabetes 95 to 98% of diabetes patients have type 2 diabetes. In this type of diabetes, either insulin resistance is there or insulin production is insufficient. 30% of patients can control diabetes by proper diet, regular exercise and yoga alone. During the initial days of diagnosis of diabetes, many people suffer from depression and anxiety. Instead of asking the doctor, they take advice from relatives and friends and follow their unscientific advices like don't do this, don't eat that, stop eating sweets completely, rice, fruits, potatoes, etc. Keep self-control for entire life. We say that only lucky people can get diabetes because we can have proper control of diabetes by disciplinary lifestyle modification and can prevent so many other diseases. There are also high chances of developing diabetes during pregnancy. If it is undetected or remains uncontrolled, it may endanger life of both mother and baby and also increase the risk of developing diabetes in mother as well as the baby. Through little awareness of its symptoms, one can detect the disease in early stages. Symptoms are frequent urination, increased thirst, increased hunger, tingling in the feet, fatigue and weakness, delayed healing, diminished vision and repeated miscarriages. Most of the time, 60% of patients are accidentally diagnosed. Only 40% feel the symptoms of the disease. Those who have the symptoms 
have family history of diabetes, those aged more than 35 years, overweight, suffering from heart attack, blood pressure or TB should undergo diabetes check annually. No restriction in diet is required in diabetes. Patients with diabetes are advised to take that food which is a food for healthy persons too. Sweet substances and fatty foods such as ice cream, sweets, cakes, biscuits, chocolates, etc. should be avoided. Green vegetables and salads can be taken freely. Take small and frequent meals four to six times a day. Depending on your family caloric intake, you can bring diet changes. Eating fruits are beneficial for diabetic patients Sweet and ripe fruits like mango, chiku, custard apple, banana, etc. should not be taken if your diabetes is not under control. Other family members should have the same food habits. Doing so can prevent diabetes as well as many other diseases in the family. If the diabetes remains uncontrolled for a long time, it may increase the risk of high blood pressure and heart disease by about two to four times. The possibility of becoming paralyzed is two times more. The risk of nephropathy is 17 times higher and 25 times exceeds the risk of retinopathy. It makes the healing process very slow and sometimes it may lead to amputation of the foot. 90% of limbs can be saved from amputation if proper care is taken. Regular exercise and physical activity should form a part of the daily routine for diabetes patients. Exercise should be done after sugar gets symmetric in the blood. Generally exercise should be done early in the morning. But if you do not have the time in the morning, one can do it at any time throughout the day after two hours of having food. Exercise for at least 30 minutes a day, 5 days a week are good and depending on the body's capacity, it should be increased gradually. If patients make conscious efforts to make yoga a part of their everyday life, then yoga can help them to control diabetes. It should be done with a proper learned good mentor, without fears and in a regular manner. Yoga helps in maintaining blood glucose, reducing fat and reducing dosage of medicine and insulin amounts. Learn more about diabetes. Diabetes is harmless unless you let it become harmful. By doing so, you will be able to enjoy healthy and exuberant life and may survive with long-lasting effects from diabetes. Diabetes is going to stay with you for your rest of life. Therefore, build friendship with it. Know your diabetes very well. Understand it and adjust it. Diagnose your diabetes at an early stage and manage it properly with proper instruction given by your doctor. Take your diet as per the advice. Perform an exercise regularly. Do yoga and pranayama. If you do this, nearly 30% of people with diabetes, they can control their diabetes without medication. And in the remaining 70% of the people with diabetes, diabetes can be controlled with 30 to 40% less medication. And at the same time, you can live a long, healthy and cheerful life. Swasthya, trying to meet the needs in a very unique way for people who need hospital care. Prevention is better than cure. Take care of your health and live healthy.